guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 14 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <gasps> oh, yay! Excuse me. Right. Yeah. Well, then it'll just be you two and that's okay. She's gonna probably wear like this beautiful dress and everything. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was gonna burn freaking oh. You mean it? It looks like a trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say rat poop? I mean, it looks nice on them. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. 
No, you're not useless. Why'd I remind you of, like, you know, <laughs> you be in your room all freaking day, and you finally come down and see your parents or your, the rest of your family and be like, oh my god, look, it's the gremlin! <laughs> It's Of course, she always fucking eating. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's everything she wanted.
Yeah. The, I mean, hell, there was a point we all kind of thought it. Unless you were a freaking light novel reader. That's got to be a lie, though. I mean... Now, it does make me wonder when these two are going to tie the knot. But she also seems like she isn't the marrying type. And I mean, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. See? Aww. What? Oh, excuse me. Mm hmm <laughs> Come here. Right? <laughs> you want to go in bed? Wait, 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 wait. Cody. Wait. Oh my god. There you go. Yeah, go, go lay on my clothes because that's exactly what you're going to do. <laughs> Whenever they're not doing <laughs> the deed in the bath. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
What? For what reason? Right? I mean, doesn't this seem a little weird? For what reason? Okay, whatever. I mean, damn, it, it just started and ended so freaking quickly. That makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, because they know that you have a relationship with her and such, and you've grown with her, but they need to know, like, hey, yo, you do something bad with her, you're getting your ass beat. But only because they needed you, they needed to make sure that, you know, he'd be safe with you. <laughs> yeah, how did that go? Hmm. You still love her though, right? Right? Right, because, I mean, honestly, I think if it was in anybody else's shoes for a different guy and stuff, they probably would leave her and be like, nah, you on your own, boo. <laughs> that 
that's a that's a real true fucking man. Oh my god. We need those, yes. <laughs> no. That was so cute. The fact that she also found her her grandma, like, oh. happy day. I mean, I would have expected that the the wedding reception and everything. This is hella sticky because of the freaking syrup. Goddamn. Um, I was expecting it to be like you know this big extravaganza event because you know the weddings and it's like that, but. I love how, you know, small and intimate and private it was. This was with their closest friends and family, even though the other family members that they do want and the other family and the friends that they do want with them in this moment, of course, is not here. And, and yeah, you feel bad about that, but I think one day, because I there is a there's one spoiler that I do know about this show and probably we'll talk about that when we get later on into it or maybe probably by the end we get to this we get to the end of this season i'll probably talk about it and such that is if i end up remembering because you know your girl will have a lot of things in her fucking mind you know next you know i'll forget and i'll be like oh but no this was sweet i i just love how big much is a horn dog he is and that even though like all it took for her to be like oh uh, like for him to be instantly turned on is her saying, I love you, and then kissing him on the cheek, and he is just ready to fucking go. Like, oh my god. <laughs> if only. If only guys could actually really work like that, because just like with girls, it, it takes, like, a, an instant, like, little while. Like, there is no, like, in freaking way, just, like, in the movies and, and other things and such, that, yeah, we're instantly ready to go. We're instantly ready for you to, you know, do the deed on us and such. It You have to... Take our time. Take your time. Have us warm into it. There, there are certain things and pressure points that we really want you to get into and such. And just, I love how he was, just, he was fucking ready. He was like, "Yes, I have to establish this," which was so fucking cute. And it just like you were like, "Damn, well, how many times have y'all gone at it as of right now? Is this like your what fifth, sixth, tenth time today?" I, I mean, yeah, like, cause duh, you're newlyweds, and I and I get it, duh. Once again, newlyweds, newlyweds are always gonna be banging like every five, ten, fifteen minutes and such, cause horn dogs. I, I cannot even imagine because see, like, I don't. Well, I have a kid. My kid is my dog. <laughs> um, I, as if I was in a marriage with <laughs> with my future husband and such, and thus having that first kid. I don't know which one of us would be the one to be like, oh my god, I really want to try for another kid. Would it be me or me or him? Sometimes I have seen it's really the guy, and then sometimes I have seen it's the woman and such. And literally anything can happen. It's just when you have that baby fever, and, and let me tell you, Rudy has that fucking baby fever because he is over here like night and day, day and night, and just planting that up in her and such. And it wouldn't surprise me if in like in the next couple episodes if Sylvie is pregnant by the end of this, it would make the mm, kind of the most sense in a way, but who knows? I, I just, I love the slow place that we're going, but I'm ready for like, I feel like it's going to be a hot minute until we get into like the big action -y things. Of course, saving his mom. Um, of course we've seen Roxy, Roxy, mm, Roxy, yeah, Roxy and Iris in the opening. So we, we're going to see them again. I'm just like, when? I don't want to wait until the end of the season and be like, oh, hey, they're finally popping off. But who fucking knows? <laughs> no, well, my, uh, light novelist, y'all fucking know. Y'all know. I'm just going to say that regardless. But 
Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 14 of season 2 of Jobless Reincarnation. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matches Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday. Yes, BTW. I'm sorry I didn't release this yesterday. I came home late. I had to um, go to the emergency room to go visit a family member and such. Um, didn't come home until kind of really late and I literally just ate food and I went to sleep and such and kind of woke up later on in the night. But yeah, I will have episode 15 out on Sunday unless anything happens, but I should really have it out on Sunday because ish, but regardless. Yeah. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.